We're here at the New England Aquarium with curator of fishes, Stephen Bailey, to take a deeper dive into neuronal signaling. Now, in the ocean, a lot of creatures have evolved really amazing ways to kill us and attack our nervous systems. In this tank here, we have some examples. So can you tell us a little bit about what kind of neurotoxic fishes we have? I think most folks refer to puffers being the inflatable, lack of spined versions of that bigger group, the tetrodontiformes. And we do have an example in the exhibit of that. We have uh, Sphoroides testudineus, which goes by a couple of common names, the checkered puffer or the red-eyed puffer. And we have a single specimen that is a young specimen. It is believed that that animal and its ovaries, its liver, possibly its intestines, harbor some of the uh, TTX toxin. So can, can these animals use this as an offensive weapon or is it purely defensive? Purely defensive. And in fact, this group of animals has a series of defenses. And this is really one of the last resorts because it is a passive defense. It usually involves the sacrificing of one's life. It's something of an altruistic exercise because if a predator eats one of the group and it's a learning experience, potentially then it won't eat others that look the same. Mm -hmm. So it's really the last in a line of defenses. So are there any species of puffer that live around here? Yes, the northern puffer. Uh, it's an animal that we have on exhibit right over in our shorebird exhibit. Let's take a look. Okay. So this is In on the Wind, which is our depiction of the Boston Harbor Islands, primarily focusing visitors' attention on the shorebird species. But lo and behold, uh, in the exhibit and up in the rear is the northern puffer coming around that rock can get to be, uh, at least in these waters, uh, five or six inches. I believe that they can be as much as eight or nine inches uh, in the more southerly extremes of their, their range. There's no reports of people dying from eating these. Uh, not that I know of, um, but if you learn of someone, it'll, it would make a terrific interpretive element on an exhibit, so please let me okay. know. We'll, we'll get to work on that. 